Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter with a Tennis Now Countdown. Rivalries are the rocket fuel that launch tennis to new levels. Contrasting styles, personality clashes, superb shot making, and sometimes a little bit of bad blood all contribute to a must-see rivalry. We're counting down the top five men's rivalries of 2015. Heart racing rallies, outrageous shot making, and a heated argument make our number two rivalry one to watch. Rafa Nadal and Fabio Fognini, oh what fun. They gave us one of the most spirited rivalries of the year with the very theatrical Fabio Fognini winning three of five matches versus Rafa in 2015. It started with a bang when Fabio stunned the King of Clay in Rio, halting Nadal's 52 match winning streak on clay semifinals with one of the most remarkable match points of the year. Fognini backed that win up, beating Nadal again in Barcelona with shots like this one, to become only the second man to beat Rafa twice on clay in the same season. <laughs> Fabio upset Rafa yet again at the U.S. Open, becoming the first man in history to beat Nadal when trailing by two sets in a Grand Slam match. Finally, though, Nadal avenged those losses in Beijing. Afterward, both men say they have made peace after their contentious clash in Hamburg during the summer when Fabio chewed out his rival. Initially, Rafa looked surprised by the outburst, but then he pointed at Fabio as if sending him back to his seat. Fabio later said he respects Rafa and revealed his problem was really with Uncle Tony and not Rafa. Fabio says he has all the respect in the world for Nadal inside and outside the court. He says the history wasn't against Rafa, but against his team, especially Uncle Tony. So there you have that. Okay, take the greatest player of all time and the greatest player of this time and put them under pressure on the greatest Grand Slam stages. What have you got? A rivalry for the ages. Our number one rivalry of 2015 is the ongoing duel between Roger Federer versus Novak Djokovic. This iconic clash is dead even at 22 wins apiece after Nole beat Roger in five of their eight matches this season. When you've got Djokovic's baseline precision against Federer's on-court artistry, you get points like this. Novak did incredibly well to switch his weight. Fed won their first meeting in Dubai this season. Novak answered back, outdueling Roger in the Indian Wells final to his 50th career title. Djokovic has done it. He has successfully defended his title here at the BMP Paribas Open, beating Roger Federer in the final for the second consecutive year. The world number one ruled again, beating Roger in Rome. A defiant Djokovic quieted Federer's uprising and the pro-Federer crowd answering every challenge they threw at him to claim his third Wimbledon title with a 7-6, 6-7, 6-4, 6-3 win on grass. It's Djokovic again. Then they took their rivalry to New York, where the world number one defeated number two again in an electric four-set U.S. Open final to win his 10th Grand Slam title. It was Novak's third Grand Slam title of the season, along with Australia and Wimbledon. The year of the Joker hit an historic climax as Djokovic defeated Federer in the World Tour Finals title match, becoming the first man in history to capture the year-end title four times. 
in a row. All right, that's our list. Let's hear yours. Next time, we're going to be looking at the top women's rivalries. I'm Grace Carter. Thanks for tuning in.